Hi guys, this might be a uh, useful video to some of you guys. Uh, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I haven't had much luck with uh, snap-on diagnostic equipment uh, in terms of um, maybe reliability and etc. I mean, it's good stuff, but um, I always seem to run into issues. So a while back I had a Varus and then I had a Varus Pro and I updated the Varus Pro to an SSD drive, uh, which increased its uh, operation speed and was very happy with it but then I ran into touchscreen issues and uh, sent out the the unit for servicing and uh, it just didn't seem to fix anything even though they said it was fixed um, so then I updated to the Zeus <clears throat> and um, I'm happy with the Zeus still but uh, then they came up with an offer of hey uh, we can install Windows 10 for you. Uh, it's more of a fluid system, operating system, especially with touch sensitivity, etc. And so I go, well, sure, why not for 200 some odd bucks? Why not? Uh, then recently I uh, noticed that the hard drive is running out of room. Uh, it, uh, it only has a 64 gigabyte SSD card. Uh, Windows alone takes up 40 gigabytes. And so I asked my Snap-on rep, hey, you know, can I uh, send this in to Snap-on and maybe they put a one terabyte SSD in there so that I have some room. And he says, well, I don't know uh, if that works, but uh, you should check out the cloud feature where uh, everything gets put on the cloud. I go, yeah, no, that's just a workaround, you know. Uh, I, I like to have stuff on my, my, uh, my unit uh, so I can have it right away and don't need to, you know, constantly upload to the cloud to make room and then download when I need something. Uh, so anyways, uh, he came, came back to me after talking to the snap-on guys or the diagnostic guys and he says, no, sorry, can't upgrade. And uh, I came across pictures on the net somewhere else of somebody else trying to install it and he ran into issues. Uh, but because I had already uh, installed the Windows 10 legitimately via snap-on, I figured this can't be too hard, you know, uh, just clone the drive and go from there. Uh, so I ended up finding a um, 500 gigabyte SSD on Amazon, ordered that. While I was uh, in there, was, I figured I might as well update my memory, my RAM, from 2 gigabyte to 4 gigs. And uh, this process was really simple. So if you have a Zeus and you want to do the same, uh, don't, uh, don't hesitate. This is a nice, good upgrade. Uh, I would have gone with a bigger SSD drive one terabyte had I found one but for now the 500 uh, gigabytes will do so as you can see from the pictures uh, you know there's just some maybe six six or eight screws to split the cover there's one wire connector that you have to disconnect from the motherboard and that's for the scope uh, once that's out of the way all you need to do is remove the uh, sheet metal the cooling fit tin once that's out of the way, the memory is exposed. Sorry, the memory is already exposed without removing the tin, um, if I remember correctly. I'm not looking at the pictures while I'm making this audio. Sorry if I'm mistaken. Anyways, uh, you remove the tin, then that gives you access to the SSD and the memory, if the memory is under the tin. Um, the brown heatsink pad just peels off and you stick it on the new hard drive. Uh, but obviously before you uh, swap the, the SSDs, sorry I said hard drive earlier, before you swap the SSDs you want to clone the system. So just install a Cronus disk suite or whatever it's called, I'll put the link in the description. Same with the SSD and the, um, the memory that I used. Uh, you, once, the, once the SSD is cloned, uh, I used a USB adapter uh, as you can see. Once it's cloned, all you got to do is unplug everything or shut the unit off, uh, swap over the SSD, swap over the memory, uh, put everything back together and boot it up. Uh, initially, I think Windows, at least in my case, it had to configure something because it, for whatever reason, I guess the, the, um, the BIOS or whatever wasn't expecting a disk change. Uh, but after rebooting itself and doing some kind of correction, Everything works normal as should. Uh, I attached it to a vehicle today. It works no problem at all. 
Uh, obviously, I'm still outdated in terms of uh, the um, the updates, um, but that's for another day. It's uh, over a thousand bucks, so I do it usually once every five years. Uh, long story short, don't hesitate updating your Zeus because I know you're going to be running out of space just like myself. 40 gigabytes for an operating system. Come on. In Windows. Anyways, hope you like. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.